for this exercise, you have to write five phrases with comparison about the different kind of music you see here. Reggae, música clásica, la música folclórica, el hip hop, el rap, el jazz, el rock, o la salsa. You have to use the following adjectives. Aburrido o aburrida, bonito o bonita, divertido o divertida, feo o fea, serio o seria, importante, interesante, popular o triste. You have to use the correct form of más que or menos que and you need to pause your comparisons, and then you have to react to another classmate post. But you will get 10 points for each correct comparison and 10 points for each correct reaction. To write our five comparisons, we need to follow this pattern. We're gonna start with the word the words for me in Spanish it is para mí para mí then we add the subject we need a subject in a sentence so we need to choose the the music the kind of music uh, that we want to talk about. For example, el rock. You can say, para mí, el rock, para mí, el rock. Then we add the verb. And remember, in our last class, we said, that comparisons or for com for comparisons you need to use the verb ser. So the conjugation of the third person singular for the verb ser, ser is es. So para mí el rock es. Then we add the adverb for the comparison. In English we use the word more, but in Spanish we use the word más. Para mí el rock es más. And then we place our adjective. So we can use one of those. And probably the rock is a very popular music. So we can say that. Para mí el rock es más popular. And then our conjunction. And we use the word que. That means that. So. Para mí el rock es más popular que, for me the rock is more popular than, and then we need to place our object. So we need to look for another noun that fits in the requirements of our sentence. Para mí el rock es más popular que, what about la música clásica? I like classical music, but I think that probably is not so popular as is rock. So our comparison must be something like this. Para mí, rock is más popular que música clásica. And here we have our first comparison. We need to write five comparisons. Remember that after you write your five comparisons, you need to write five reactions to your classmates' comparisons. To write your reactions, you are gonna use the following pattern. First, start saying yes, see. Si. We are going to agree with all our partners in saying we are going to have another exercise to 
disagree, but now we're going to be studying the, the agreement part. So we're going to say yes, see, then express agreement. You're going to use these words, estoy de acuerdo. That means I agree. Si, sí, estoy de acuerdo. And then use this conjunction. Pero. Pero means but. So you're going to say, for example, if we are writing a reaction for this sentence, this color, now we are going to write here something like this. Si estoy de acuerdo, that means I agree. Si estoy de acuerdo, pero, and then you need to add your own comparison. You need to add new information. For example, you can say, si estoy de acuerdo, pero la música clásica es más interesante que el rock. So, you agree, but you give a new um, comparison now. We are adding more information. Um, we are using a different adjective to show a different relationship between the two nouns that uh, we are using in our sentence. In our second sentence, we see in our, in this reaction, we see that we are using Musica Classica as a subject, but rock is being used as an object. And we are adding a new adjective, Interessante. Obviously, this is not the only way to write a reaction. We can keep the same adjective, but we can add a different object. For example, we can say, see, we can say, si, estoy de acuerdo, pero el rock es menos popular que el rap. So, we keep the same adjective, but now I am adding a new object, and also I am using a different adverb. We are using, in this case, the adverb menos. So, there are many ways to write reactions. You need to write five reactions in this exercise. You will get 10 points for each correct comparison and 10 points for each correct reaction.